so we will get under the ground <laughs> hundreds of meters under the ground scary So, where are we by the way? We are in the mining museum here in Ostrava because Ostrava is and was known for mining coal and today Gwen decided she wants to visit the museum <laughs> Today it's, it's like different kind of exploring way We are going to give you some surprises What are we gonna do here? And it will be first for me, like first time in the Philippines. There are a lot of mining places, but we are not allowed to get in there. And maybe it's also dangerous. And this is like a museum already. Everyone is taking care of this one as well as for the safety of people. And I'm very invested and interested in what it looks like. So let's see what will happen. I'm kind of nervous. What are we gonna see? later and right now i already don't know what where are we going but here my tour guide is leading me to this place look these are old um transportations i think in the past that they were using in the mining and i don't understand like what it's insane. It's insane. Crazy. Right? Europe is always really impressing me of so many new things for me. Though I can see some of these things in the Philippines, but this one, I don't know what is this for. I don't really understand. Like, what does it look like? I don't know, it looks like a robot for me. Oh. <laughs> what are these for? Those wheels are spinning and crushing the stones or the coal, I guess. Crazy. So it can be picked and brought up. Surprisingly, I think this one fits to me. <laughs> Could I ride it? I don't know. I guess we are not allowed to enter. Oh. But this, like the whole tunnel, you can see was under the ground, or there are still under the ground. And those rails were used for transporting. And there was a human sitting here. The driver. Right? Yeah. Crazy. Crazy! <laughs> Whoa. It's insane. How old are these? But for example, this one was made 1980. Oh, so how old is that? Well, if it was made 1920, how old is that? Um, you know, I'm very bad at math, baby. I can't solve those problems without calculator. <laughs> so we will try to find where is the... Hey, check. <laughs> and let's hope we can get under the ground. <laughs> Let's see. That's really the surprise, guys. We are giving you, or we're gonna show you what's something underground, and it will be my first time, and I'm quite nervous this time. Like, I'm scared. What could be it look like underneath? And I haven't had done that in my life yet, so I'm quite scared right now. Here is a statue of a miner. How they look like. His name is Antonin Ivansky. Yeah. Those memorials where the names are included is like a reminder for those men working here who died, who were killed, who were tortured. There is a nice quote written, we died so you can live. That's how it was here before. 
here is written there is like uh, changing rooms it may look a little bit scary but the reason for this all those miners and workers here this is their changing room each of them has a suit hanged on the chain so when they came to work they just used the chain to drop their clothes down and then they went to work uh, it looks like people hanging but it's just the clothes we just got the ticket for a tour so we will get under the ground hundreds of meters under the ground scary i'm scared this is the elevator what how the elevator how can the elevator <laughs> it looks like a tower for me it's really surprising me to see like this because we i can't really see like this in the philippines the buildings imagine the millions of bricks used yeah to build, that pl to build this place this one okay. crazy right and how did they make those bricks <laughs> i have a lot of questions actually but <laughs> it's really hard to the bricks were made from the clay from what clay clay yeah. So here we are in the area of rescuers, especially the divers, how it looked like way back then when the miners, the tunnels were flooded with water, so the divers went there to save those miners stuck there. It's like crazy looking at the technology, how they were refilling the <coughs> The bottles for the pressed oxygen. <laughs> Crazy. Very much. We're looking the rescuers and the divers way back then. 1913. Here we are in the another floor. Help me! <laughs> Kuba is struggling! Oh. It's hard to do one hand! <laughs> you wanna go back? <laughs> Baby! I regret doing it. <laughs> I would be the best miner. <laughs> it's easier for me because I'm very small, but for Kuba it's harder. <laughs> Where are we going? Maybe you don't sit here. 
I'm not sure if Kuma would fit here. Kuma, I don't fit for you. Maybe it's so small, I promise. Miners cannot be <laughs> masculine or <adult. laughs> This is my question, why did they make this? <laughs> Look at Kuma, it's like warm. Let's go. We are now done with the tour about the rescuers in the mine, the divers, everything. As you could see, it's quite strange for me to be looking on those equipment of divers way back then and how it looked now. It was crazy and insane. Like, it's very narrow. How come? Like, it's very small. Is it always like that whenever they're mining somewhere? I'm not sure. We will see once we will get <laughs> under the ground. It was insane. I feel like, oh my god, why did I did this? I was really asking myself, like, why I did try it? It's horrible. Like, but for was... you, it's like much more easier because you are small. What yeah. about me? I was very worried for you because you'll get stuck. <laughs> and nobody will get me out. <laughs> Check your helmet. Take your helmet. Okay. Here is the elevator. I'm scared. We're looking like a true miners. Běžně vlezlo 18 horníků. Aha. 18. A tam někdo dopsal potom nebo 24 Aha. Jo. Tak. Normally like uh, 28 people would go. Oh my god. 18? Ah, 18. Okay. Oh. Well, this is funny though. Yeah, we didn't go that. Teď si představte, že tahle ta chodba, do které my se tady dostaneme, je Delší než 100 metrů. Najdete na Karvinsku, tam se bavíme o metrech. Ale kvalita uhlí je úplně jiná než ta ostrovské. Jo? To je ten rozdíl mezi ostravskou pánví a karvinskou. Ale dohromady, než to potom projde, a vy zase vidíte, že mu to je fungovat. V tom případě se na dva. Tak to je ten dopravník, který nepotřebuje žádné kolečka. 
na takovém dopravníku dostanete materiál do kopce. No, jak je to možné? Ano, tady se stává nemožným možné. Máte pravdu, protože tenhle ten nádřasný dopravník funguje, jako když si vezme. So right now guys, we just got out from underground. <laughs> Was it scary? Mm, yeah, but it's nice. It's very nice. It's, it's scary a bit, but the experience is very nice. Like, I have only seen the mining things, um, movies or what, like pictures, but I haven't even experienced it by myself. And it was really a great experience for the first time. Yeah, pretty nice. <laughs> Would you like Can't. to be a miner? No. They never. are they are still hiring and you will get hiring? So they're still having mining there? Uh, not in Ostrava but in the other city they are still mining with that machine which was which was spinning like that. 24k per month. No, it's cheap. Gross pay. It's cheap. <laughs> Working by hands. It's dirty. Cheap. And it's also very dangerous actually. Like there could be accident and you cannot get out easily. Yeah, there were There's accidents. No there were accidents like so many flooding the tunnels with water or the huge amount of methane. Up until now the guide was mentioning they need to be extracting the water and the gases out of the tunnels. Mm -hmm. Currently guys, we are already home from our tour in the mine. It was quite exhausting experience, which made Gwen so tired. So she passed away very quickly once we came home. She is still sleeping up until now. But what I want to say in the end of this video, with every video we bring to YouTube, we would like to teach you some new things or share with you new information which can be interesting and useful for you. So through every video of ours you will be smarter or more knowledgeable. Talking about that mine we were earlier, this mine happened to be museum in the year 1994. So for already like 30 years it's already sitting there being a huge entertainment for people from all around the world to come there and to see how it looked like how it worked way back then when it was still used for the coal mining in the beginning of the video we were guided and shown the place of rescuers how those men who were working down there rescuing and saving people from the disasters which were happening down there hundreds of meters under the ground how it worked this kind of exposition about the rescuers is one of the oldest actually in the world. If you are here in the Czech Republic, in Ostrava, don't miss this place to visit because you have one unique opportunity to get to the place which is only one in the world. After that we transferred under the ground. It was not actually those 2000 feet under the ground. No museum would allow you to get into such a depth because of it's quite dangerous and anything could happen. So the actual depth, the actual depth we were with other people was just about 10 meters under the ground. We were still traveling down there by that elevator the same exact way how the boys before were getting down to work. Then we went through the tunnels. We could see the technique, techniques, equipment, how the boys were working there. I actually cannot imagine working in such a place like that. While those men were really like digging a coal, it was nothing really comfortable position. They were more like laying, kneeling, crunching, holding those drills, everything. I can say is one of the hardest jobs ever, way back then working in such a dusty and dangerous areas it was nothing much really healthy there were stories when a miner came to the doctor and the doctor asked him how long you were smoking and the miner said like i've never been smoking so i was just i'm just working in a mine and then the doctor said ah okay that's the same exact result because of the miners are breathing and eating that dust from the coal and all around so i actually really cannot imagine miners 
here in Ostrava way back then were actually getting quite a good money in comparison which was told to us today that a teacher could earn about 2000 per month those miners could earn about 6 to 10k a month so it was like really it was like really well paid a job but on the other hand working there for like 30 40 years i don't know after that getting to retirement i would like to know how much years of retirement you will enjoy because of the dust in your lungs what or how many diseases it will cause you so i'm really not sure if those guys could if those guys were able to enjoy all their retirements those who were able to finish it to their retirement without getting hurt or worse down there in the mine so that's all for today's video guys i hope it was enjoyable for you for us with gwen it was something really enjoyable once we were down there we really had those feelings like you are only you feel like very suffocated even there is so much air down there no worries to feel like being suffocated or anything like those but being surrounded by just the wooden constructions who are holding the tons of material all above you feels like a little bit scary amazing adventure today thank you guys for watching the video if you finished watching this video hit the like and subscribe button it will help us grow better and faster take care always and see you in the next video